How can you make a book review controversial? Well, you're about to find out. I do highly recommend this book, and I'm going to tell you why, but this is actually the first book review video where I'm going to use a star rating system, and this is where the controversy comes in, because this is a book that would probably, and should, get the full five stars, but it doesn't. And just to point out, 99% of the books on this topic also won't get the full five stars either. However, we'll get to that. First, let's take a look at what this book has to offer and explain why I think you should purchase it. This book is about the German way of war and why this way of war, which had worked for centuries, failed in 1942. And it's also about the shift in mentalities with the death of the traditional Prussian officer mentality in 1942 and the beginning of a new type of German officer mentality by the time we get to 1943. For those of you who love the term Blitzkrieg, or Bewegungskrieg, as Satino says is the actual term, you'll be wanting to know why the Blitzkrieg failed to work in the East compared to Western and Central Europe. You'll also want to know why in the early war the Germans fought a war of movement, but why in the later war this was no longer something they could Fight. Well, 1942 was the transition from the war of movement style of war to the new static warfare of the later war period. Satino's book is all about this transition, why it took place and why it had to happen. Blitzkrieg does fail in 1942 in both the East and in North Africa. Satino doesn't like to use the term turning point and deliberately avoids using it at all in this book. However, if you do subscribe to the view that there was a turning point at some point in the war, and that 1942 might have been the turning point, then you need to look at what happened during Fall Blau, the German summer offensive of 1942, as well as Rommel's failure in North Africa. Zatino covers both of these campaigns in this book. The book starts by very briefly covering German military history from Frederick the Great's time to the Blitzkrieg against the Soviet Union in 1941. Satino covers the Balkan campaign as an example of how well the German way of war worked in Central Europe, and then contrasts that with the German attack into Asia during Barbarossa. Once he's explained this failure of the German way of war, Satino moves on to the Crimean campaign, the Second Battle of Kharkov, and also Gazala and Tobruk in North Africa, where he explains why it appeared that the Blitzkrieg was back on. Then Satino talks about the 1942 summer campaign, Fal Blau, which, as he describes it, was a debacle. And then there's a chapter each on why Rommel came to a halt in North Africa and why the Germans came to a halt at Stalingrad and in the Caucasus. There's one final chapter entitled The End, uh, El Alamein and Stalingrad, which brings everything to a head before the final conclusion, which rounds everything out. This is a narrative account, not an operational battalion by battalion, blow by blow account of what happened. And Satino really weaves a compelling story. This is not a book that will send you to sleep. Uh, Satino has great charisma, both in his lectures, but also in his books, especially in this one. And so while you obviously, I think you need to have an interest in military history of the Second World War, really anyone can pick this book up and start reading and know roughly where they're up to. Um, I would recommend that you at least read a general history of World War II before you pick this book up, just to give you um, the full context. But having done that, dive right into this and you'll be fine. Throughout the book, there are maps that are easy to read. And that's one of my pet peeves when history books don't provide maps anyone could just make heads or tails of. And in this case, they really support the narrative. Yeah, they may seem a little bit simple, but as I said, this isn't an operational battalion by battalion account of the events. We're talking armies here, and these maps are fine for that, so top marks for this. The super good news is that there is a bibliography at the end of the book, and an index. And I'm only pointing this out because it's surprising how many history books I come across that don't manage to provide an index or list their sources. Well, from now on, in future book reviews, I will deduct two stars off any book that fails to provide them, because that's how fundamental they are. 
You wouldn't buy a car with no engine. Well, I'm not going to recommend a history book with no sources or a way to easily navigate the text. Luckily, Satino does provide an index and source list, so full marks for this. There are bad points though. Satino does have this habit of referring to the philosophies of German generals from previous eras in a way that, unless you know who they are and have studied them a little or read their books, it's just not going to compute. And this to me is the only real downside of the book. Unless you know Prussian and German military history like the back of your hand and had read works of the great generals like Moltke, uh, then there will be the odd paragraph that you will have to skip over. But luckily, these are few and far between, and it's it's only really a minor issue. Therefore, I'm not going to deduct any stars off it. However, I am deducting a full star off the book because of one big issue, and this is the controversial bit. Uh, I can already imagine certain politically biased people will be screaming at me in the comments section below, and I 100% accept that this will hurt me as well, because well, I am guilty of this in my videos. However, being completely objective, I will sacrifice myself for the greater historical good. Because the reason is this. Satino has not used his Soviet sources. And I get why. I get why. But it's not acceptable. If we think about this objectively, it's just not acceptable. Satino might argue that the book is set up from the German perspective, and I understand that. However, if you've used British sources for the North African campaign, so both sides, German and British, but you've not used the Soviet sources for the Eastern campaign, then it doesn't make any sense. If this is purely from the German perspective, you wouldn't be using the British sources, which you are. Also, I can see there's one or two English translated Russian sources in there, and you've also used David Glantz's books, which is great because Glantz uses the Soviet sources. So it's not like you haven't tried. But thinking objectively, I'm not able to give you full marks. Therefore, this book gets four stars. Now, I know this is the first time I've used the star system, but I'm looking at my book collection here, and I'm fairly certain 99% of the books on the Eastern Front will not be able to get five stars because they've not used the Soviet sources either. In fact, David Glantz may be the only one who could get five stars, and he won't because his maps are disgraceful. But Satino's death of the Wehrmacht overall is fantastic. Possibly the best narrative history of the 1942 Eastern Front campaign. Yes, it doesn't use the Soviet sources, but it's still one of the best books out there on the Eastern Front. If you're looking for a book that explains why the German Blitzkrieg or Bewegungskrieg failed, then this is the book for you. Really? It's a necessary book for any World War II fanatic. We have in fact just reached a Patreon milestone where I can now begin to commit myself to learning German, and I've got to find a German tutor. I will in the future, and with your support, be learning Russian as well, so I can give you the most unbiased account of the Eastern Front as possible, because that is the ultimate goal for anyone wanting to know more about the Eastern Front, getting an unbiased perspective. But I can only do this with your support. Please consider supporting me on Patreon and help make this goal a reality. Thank you to my patrons. You guys, as always, are awesome. And thank you very much for all of you for watching. Bye for now.